hello youtube welcome back to my channel all right today's video as i promised is um ingredient to select for your um formulation and why yes like why are you going for these ingredients and how do they fit into your formulations yeah okay first and foremost let's talk of stretch mark ampoules just as it's called stretch mark ampoules now you want to prepare a formulation for stretch marks what are you going for stretch mark ampoules um you want to also prepare a formulation for maybe dermatitis or eczema of course or psoriasis and you're looking for a suitable ingredient what ingredients are you going for most likely we're going for ingredients like the neem oil the miracle powders the tea tree oil we do that well yes in those um formulation so you could see when you're doing a formulation and you want your formulation to come out with an excellent result as i said in my previous video you have to study these ingredients you need to know where these things fit in yes then you're using uh, trying to make a formulation for maybe cellulite yeah, you're trying to make in a proper formulation and maybe you're trying to cater for cellulite. Now, um, some of the very um, essential oils, this part. Now, this time, you're going for essential oil selection. So, generally, what I'm trying to say, let me add this quickly, is the fact that you could um, select ingredients from any category. They could come from essential oils, they could come from powders, they could come from oils, they could come from serums. So your ingredient selection, especially for your formulation of cream base, yes, can come from any of these um, um, ingredients. But what I'm trying to say is the fact that you need to know these ingredients and know what they function as. Yes, you're making a formulation for skin lightening you want to lighten the skin tone yes you're looking for serums that will lighten lightening serums or lightening powders that will lighten and looking at the skin type you make sure it's not a broken skin of course you can play around with powders like nice cinnamide they are okay in your cream base they're also okay for your serums yes you could also play around with um powders like um kojic dip you could also use kojic acid but let me just tell you something about kojic acid kojic acid has a way of changing the color yes just over time about aside from the fact it oxidizes mm, it also has a way of changing its color the color of your cream honestly you can change it to like something dark brown or pink or something like a peach kind of i don't know what color to place it it could change your color of the cream but then it doesn't change the function yeah the benefits are still there intact so it's just the color of the cream maybe you might not be comfortable with it but it doesn't harm your skin in any way believe me it doesn't harm your skin and um one thing again i like about using kojic acid in a cream formulation is the fact that you have the opportunity to use antioxidants that could make the oxidation of that um, kojic acid slower yes when you add kojic acid in soaps most times it could actually oxidize fast because um you don't have the opportunity to add so much oil like especially black soap let me be more specific because your handmade soap of course you use it with a lot of oils i have videos where i made handmade soap you could see the amount of oils hello you know the amount of oils is high so of course it could slow down oxidation for your kojic acid but in creams you have the opportunity to add rose water you have the opportunity to have your vitamin e oil all this slows down oxidation they are antioxidants to be specific you understand now you're going for um creams that could whiten the skin now you want to go for um um ingredients like um good whitening oils i wouldn't mention any here because this is not a sponsored video but just do your research yourself you could also go for serums you could also go for powders that could example like sepi white is a powder or the jigger white these are powders that have extra lightening ability so you could actually incorporate them into your cream base in formulation now when you're going for a formulation where um you're trying to battle green veins and don't forget something let me add quickly is the fact that when you begin to pop up your melanin like when you begin to lighten your melanin in most cases it comes with green veins don't forget that now you have to look for something that we counter at the green veins and one of such ingredients is the kina core yes the kina core either the oil or the liquid kina core anyone could work fine yes 
it could help even the shenik could also help counteract your green veins now you could also use um oils korea oils like the sesame oil all those are also ingredients you could add to also help with those kind of occurrences um the shenik especially i call it a neutralizer it helps step down whatever reaction that any of those um lightening ingredients could bring you understand you know this has to do with something like the inhibiting of the melanin like i told you in natural formulations when you're doing them for lightening or either whitening you're not eroding your melanin rather you're inhibiting your melanin so rather you're reducing the growth of your melanin which in the long run doesn't have any side effects anytime you choose to stop you stop you're free it does not have any damages it does not have any long-term fear of this thing is going to be cancerous or something no 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 when you're doing your if you're if you whatever i as i always say in some of my videos i tell you i have nothing against you lightening your skin or whitening your skin but the only problem i have is when you're doing it wrongly as long as you're doing it rightly you're picking your ingredients correctly you're doing it in a very safe form hello i have nothing against it you understand but when you're beginning to go tamper with products like hydroquinone um tamper with products with um steroids mercury like those ones are like hey those are each and i'm like guy or oh, babe relax these things are not too good for your skin but then let me quickly even add there's some creams that even contain hydroquinone funny enough but you could still neutralize them. Yes, in the sense, what I mean by neutralize them, you could still work with them in a safe way. Are you understand what I'm trying to say? That one is going to be like a more of a detailed uh, uh, lecture for another day. You understand? I wouldn't want to. So I thought, I know I do. I wouldn't want to be accused of. Hey, I, I encourage you to use. No, 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 no. I encourage you to use um, uh, hydroquinone. No, no, no. What I'm trying to say is that some of sometimes you can use. And come to think of it, let me just tell you something. Hydroquinone is not as dangerous as you think, as it sounds. It's something that is not encouraged for long-term use, but it's something that could be used in little, little doses. And those doses, those doses are supposed to be like 0.02% or so. But unfortunately, a lot of people use them ahead of those of the required dosage. It's just like any medication when you take overdose. That maybe is going to have negative effects. I want to be hydroquinone. Funny enough, you know, it helps with melasma. It helps with hyperpigmentation. But then it's something that should not be used for long. Do you understand? The prolonged use is what causes a lot of problems. The prolonged use and the overuse. Now, let me make an example for you. For instance, you have a soap that has hydroquinone in it. Maybe they said 0.2%. Then you have a cream that has 0.2%. You have a serum that has 0.2%, all of hydroquinone. Then you have a lotion or a cream that you're using that has 0.2%. Like, and you're using this as a set, as a combination. You've used 0.2 in the soap. You've used 0.2 in the serum. You've used 0.2 in the cream. Are you understanding what I'm trying to say to you? At the long run, you're not using the 0 0.2 required dose. You're using overdose. Do you now understand what I'm trying to say to you? And some of these um, products you buy in the market, as I said, the labels sometimes don't even come with the true information. They come with under information or over information she you understand so they might tell you it's a 0 0.2 hydroquinone but it's not it's more than that it's enough to close to 0 0.5 because let me tell you the reason why people um from some from litters tend to use that overdose you have clients that they want quick whitening they want quick results and of course these are clients you want to keep these are clients you want them to use your products but in reality your natural products cannot give quick results yes now i think for me, um, I think when you're trying to talk to a customer into um, patience, you know, even though you can't control everybody, now you could actually add extra ingredients. Like what I mean by extra ingredients. Now, I'm not encouraging hydroquinone, no, don't get me wrong, please. Now, inside a natural product, you could actually um, get a product and that is why it's advisable you encourage your clients to buy your ingredients in sets there should be oil there should be serums there should be glow oils you understand what i'm trying to say to you there should be um body butters now when you have discussed with your client and you have an idea of what the client wants like personally i have products that whiten you it's up. i don't know what i'm trying to say to you now those are products that i have aside from the normal natural products which i could add for you into those products so that they could help speed up whatever it is you want while these other ones that are slowly working are working slowly am i clear here now those um the, the extra ingredients i'm giving you is not something that i added maybe hydroquinone or any harsh chemical no rather it's something i worked with an ingredient that has a broad spectrum that is active the ingredient is extra active do you understand? And it's given to you to use for a duration of time. Do you understand? Like, when you use this, that is all. 
I hope I am clear here. Whatever, just drop it in the comment section. Let's talk. You understand? So, um, basically, there are so many ingredients, but I believe uh, maybe I have given a little bit here. Like, maybe I've managed to say some um, reasons why you should pick up a certain ingredient and use in a certain formulation for a certain reason. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching my videos. I really, really appreciate I don't take it for granted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not yet subscribed. And by the way, did I tell you my name? My name is Asma Ozakaria. I'm a Potako based YouTuber. Yeah, I'm a skincare therapist. And a formulator as well so thank you so much and see you in another video bye